So I've turned my camera off now. Um, yeah. and I'm going to mute my microphone in a second. So if you want to just tell me a bit about yourself and if you can just wait a few seconds to answer. Um, so could you just tell me a bit about yourself and your role at the university and your department? Mm -hmm. okay. My name is Teji Ma. I'm a lecturer within the Southampton Business School. So I'm also the program director for MSc in risk management and MSc in cybersecurity risk management programs. So I'm mainly affiliated with the Center for Risk Research, uh, what we not risk research center. So that's basically myself. Great, thank you. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna ask you the first question. Yeah. So if you could just tell us about um, the program that you teach and um, the general risk management programs at Southampton. So what they consist of, um, why they're unique to the university and why you consider them to be perhaps better than in other universities and kind of what your strengths are within that department. Southampton University, Southampton Business School has a spectrum of risk management programs. So we have a portfolio of four risk management related programs. It's MSc in risk management, and MSc in risk and finance, MSc in business risk and security management, and the cyber security risk management programs. So the main factor that make Southampton University a distinction for risk related research and study is our risk programs are based on the, the Center for Risk Research, which has been established since 1990s. And also we emphasize interdisciplinary risk research, which has been reflected well in our four risk management programs. So regardless of which angle, which domain a student would like to study risk related subjects we will have a program for you for example if for students who are generally interested in risk management methodologies then the master program in risk management will be more appropriate or if a student would be more interested in particularly related to the finance sectors and the risk management in that domain then we have a master program in risk and finance and also we have a newly established cybersecurity risk management programs, which has been jointly um, established with the computer science uh, department within the university. So it, was, it is one of the first cyber risk management program of its type within the country, as well as it has been well associated with uh, the center, academic center of excellence for cybersecurity research within the Southampton University. Such a cybersecurity research center has been grounded by the Engineering Research Council as well as been uh, sponsored by GCHQ. So it's one of the unique cyber related risk programs within the country and globally. We also have a business risk and a security management program which are designed for students who are generally interested in business risk and security management. So with the four programs related to risk management, so regardless of which particular angle students would be interested in, so we will have a good module and a good course for potential students. I think that is the thing make Southampton University a distinction place for study risk related research. That's really fantastic. Thank you for explaining that to me. Um, just want to know why would an international student want to study this? Um, how is it going to help their career options afterwards? So for students that really want to know about the opportunities it, it will hopefully give them um, after graduating, why do you think that this is a good course for them to study? For international students, so normally we find that students are generally are passionate about having industry related opportunities and uh, uh, doing real work work. So for that particular angle, what we have been facilitated is uh, from multiple angles to help students on that. 
For example, every year we hosting a number of guest lectures and seminars from the leading industry firms within the city. For example, Goldman Sachs, uh, uh, JP Morgan, Iris the Young, Dowlett, Old Mutual. There are a number of leading industry senior officials who come to Southampton University and uh, tell us about their experience, which our students can learn about. And then every year we'll have uh, internship opportunities provided by these firms so that students can get on hands on practical uh, uh, projects when during their study or during their dissertation. And they will get a straightforwardly graduate opportunities to help with their career. In addition, for students who are trying to pursue with research career in the future, so the Center for Risk Research is one of the, uh, uh, the strongest research center within, within the country on risk research. Every year, we attract more than a million and a half pounds research projects and the various, on various subjects. So some of students may have the opportunities to take on research projects during their dissertation. And our modules and our lectures are sort of embedded with our research experience, with research-led teaching, research teaching. So students will not only get practical uh, uh, work on risk-related subjects, but also may reflect on the latest state-of-the-art risk-related techniques. In addition, our risk program has been certified and recognized by professional bodies such as the Chartered Insurance Institute and the Institute of Risk Management. And also we have been collaborating with uh, IBM on IBM initiatives. So IBM will provide their guest lectures as well as professional recognition for our cyber risk related programs. So with such a wide spectrum of offers, so st when students study here, they will be equipped with risk-related uh, knowledge and the learned risk subjects from multiple disciplines and the multiple angles. And they will get a real-world experience from industries and get a hands-on state-of-art techniques from academics. And they will straightforwardly get graduation opportunities when the firms are coming to Southampton for recruiting. So that we think that come to Southampton will be enhanced students' uh, opportunities for get a better career in the future. Particularly, Southampton is only 80 miles from the city of London, and it's one of the biggest uh, uh, city in the European countries and the leading finance center globally. So students are bound to get more opportunities than going anywhere else. That's really great. Um, so speaking about careers, can you talk specifically about certain alumni or students that have completed the course um, do you know what kind of jobs they do now or what kind of fields they're working in? Um, I think you did cover some of that, but if you can give any examples, um, that would be nice. Yep, so we have a large number of alumni network and uh, some of our senior alumni, for example, I have just been met with the head of fixed income, Goldman Sachs, who is an alumni of our school. And also we just have uh, conversations and guest lectures from uh, Jurich Risk uh, Insurance Group. The chief risk of officer of Jurich is our alumni. And also we have alumni from Auto Mutual, one of the largest insurance firm from South Africa. And also we have various alumni coming from Dowlett, JP Morgan, uh, uh, Eric Young, and that personally, for example, some of my students, when they finish their master degrees, they get into CT and get into PwC, for example, Accenture, and IBM, for example, HP. So it, it's really a very wide spectrum of graduation opportunities, and many of our alumni are coming uh, from, from various backgrounds, but eventually go to the finance industry, become a senior risk official, or for example, even some of our alumni goes to Formula One who become the decision support team's leaders. So it's really that our risk program graduates will have a very wide spectrum of opportunities to become a data analytics, risk managers, uh, chief finance related uh, jobs, as well as engineering related risk management jobs. 
That's that's really impressive. Um, I just wondered what percentage of the students on the course are actually international, um, whether it's a large percentage, and also what the different nationalities are among the international students. Yep. So our, our risk programs are very much globalized and with a large number of international students coming from various countries. For example, we have a quite good proportion of students coming from mainland Europe, such as Greece, Cyprus, Germany, France. And there are a proportion of students that are native, not large, but still quite a number of actually uh, experienced students are coming from uh, UK particularly to study risk programs. And also we have a very good proportion of students coming from South America as well as African countries who sort of recognized risk related study there wasn't well developed yet and they won't come to UK and study risk related subjects. And of course we have a quite large proportion of students coming from Asian countries, particularly like China, Hong Kong, Thailand, Vietnam, Malaysia. So in, in general speaking, we have a quite a mixture and a globalized uh, uh, students coming from, from pretty much all continents. Last year, I personally have a master student and actually he becomes my PhD student now who are coming from Australia just because he recognized the Center for Risk Research and I wanted to study a risk master programs and then follow on with a research PhD program. Yeah, that's quite a long way to come, isn't it? All the way from Australia. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, also, um, actually, I have a student coming from Brazil and now started the risk programs, but now it's my PhD student as well. That's, that's a great, great story. Um, and just lastly, could you tell us what, what advice you have for any international students out there that are interested in studying risk management? Um, either at sort of undergraduate or postgraduate level, um, what's your advice to them? Yep, for, for both undergraduate and postgraduate st students, so if they are interested in studying uh, risk uh, related programs, one of the first advice I would give to them is uh, w which domain of risk management they would be generally be interested in, because risk is, is a very wide subject. It can be a finance, can be engineering, can be chemistry, can be health. So, so there's still be quite a wide variety of subjects related, related to risks. If a student will have a more clearer objective before they come to Southampton and how they want to study risk subjects and which particular area they are interested in, when they come to Southampton and select the modules, so they can be more sort of focused and they can be more productive and effective to help their career. Also, I would generally recommend the students to practice their uh, communication skills as well as project their sort of interpersonal skills because risk need to be communicated. You cannot really study risk and manage risk by yourself. You need to work with others. You need to work with teams. So you have to communicate on risk related subjects and make efforts and make others understand that risk is not just a bad thing. It is also involves opportunities. So that is a very important skill. And the third thing I would recommend generally to students are they should equip themselves some level of uh, quantitative skills. I mean, it's not always to be necessary to have quantitative skills, but if they do have some quantitative skills, they'll find both qualitative skills like communication, literature, as well as the interpersonal skills will be helpful. And if they have the quantitative skills, they can actually quantify risks and present risks in sort of more scientific ways and in the more convincing ways. So with these three general skills, students are generally can help and greatly enhance their future career. That's really great advice. Thanks so much, Tejan. Um, so I think we're done now, actually. Um, so I don't know if you have any other questions or anything, um, but I might just stop the broadcast. Um, and when I stop it, we can still talk. Uh, let me just stop the broadcast.